Okay, I'm Tom Henney. I'm the owner of VSC um, and the lead developer. So I want to talk a little bit about what the uh, we went through for the process to develop switchable tuning for the L5P powered uh, Duramaxes. Those are found on the 2017 to so far the 2021. They all run the CCM. This is an E41. Um, it's a pretty complicated micro inside of it. We worked uh, since 2018 and actually before on this microprocessor to try to develop power calibrations. Um, tuning became available in October of 2018, right, right before SEMA. And we began our, our work to try to provide uh, flash solutions for the, uh, for the customers. So we weren't the first to release calibrations, but we probably spent one of the longest on uh, emissions on calibrations. Um, and then two months ago, we reached out to you by HP Tuners, uh, their beta test team and uh, they probably have some of the best software engineers I've ever met and they asked if we'd be interested in developing some uh, some of the switchable power calibrations um, in, that could be instituted inside the E41 uh, using the HP tuners as a flash solution so we went to work uh, with HP tuners we have uh, switchable tuning so soft so we there's a lot of stuff associated with switchable tuning but the soft level here is changed by the user input from the steering wheel controls. And the steering wheel controls, uh, the shift on the fly slot positions that the truck is in. And right now it's in switch on the fly slot, 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 slot position five. So if you hit the cruise control button, the, the cancel button, and then hit down one time, you can see that it changes to four, three, two, and then one, and then zero. So this is fully customizable. We have developed hundreds of calibration uh, changes and different operating systems, 2017 all the way to 2021. Um, we own every single one of those years, um, so we're not using a customer's truck to talk about uh, development work. But so since we own every single one of those trucks, um, it allows us to find out the differences in algorithms between each uh, operating system, and it takes a lot of time and it takes a lot of work. But at the end of the day, I feel like we have a pretty slick process for controlling the power on these trucks. So Ken, if you want to show them the notifier on the dash and kind of how the switchable team is. Check engine lights on because we've been doing a bunch of pulls on the truck so the front wheel speed sensors are not happy. But if you click the cruise cancel button, it will show a notifier on the dash of what tune position you're in. So that was tune one, this is tune two, this is tune three, tune four, and tune five. And it's pretty cool because we can change the tunes with literally the resume and set buttons. The important thing that the user needs to know is if the cruise control is set, indicated by the set light, that you cannot hit cancel and change tunes. Very important. You have to turn the cruise off so the indicator goes off, push the cancel button, and then it's displaying the last tune position that the truck was in. Um, that is also customizable. So we can set this truck so the last tune that the truck was in will be the tune that the truck boots up on uh, when it restarts. Um, we can also set it so every single time you start the truck, we can set the switch on the fly tune position to be uh, whatever you want. Maybe tune one, maybe tune two, um, maybe tune the zero position. So we baseline develop these calibrations to be base to race format, so tune zero, when you're not in the sh switch on the fly position, would be stock. So this truck puts about 400 horsepower to the tires stock, and then 30 horsepower, 80, 100, 150, and then uh, 180 to 200 horsepower above stock. So there's another way that the users can see how these trucks switch. And if we boot the dash up by pushing and holding the start button 
um, on the 2020 and up trucks or just turning the key on but do not starting do not start the truck you can enter the soft position so right now if I hit the cancel button it's in tune 4 which is pretty cool and we can just bump it down tune 3 tune 2 tune 1 tune 0 and you're pretty much at the liberty to change 5 4 so it's it, it's pretty quick and showing a uh, uh, what it will change. We've also tested a prototype switch, um, which will be available to the public. Um, this seems like more of what the older Duramax users would have, uh, would have used. You can see, I want to discuss our 2017 and 2021 uh, horsepower numbers, what we found through hundreds and hundreds of dyno poles, and the uh, power levels that we got out of these trucks, and um, uh, the power levels that you're going to get on the switchable tune positions. So we'll start off with the stock uh, L5P. This is uh, my 2021. Um, it's on the dyno right here. Um, we spent about a month and a half with this truck on the road and uh, testing and towing. We put about 12,000 miles of pretty heavy towing on it, uh, developing switchable tuning. But this truck put down 400.41 horsepower stock. This is SAE uh, numbers and 803 foot pounds. It's a little lower than the 2017 and 2019 trucks probably because of the aftermarket wheels and tires. Um, but that's, that's stock. Uh, the next tune position up is uh, tune position zero, so, or one. So you're gonna have tune position zero through five. So you, in this sense, you get five switchable tunes on these trucks, plus a stock power level, or very close to stock power level. Uh, so tune position number one, which would be soft position number one, uh, we got an average of 437 horsepower, and we're going to keep it there. Uh, we're going to call that our 35 horsepower uh, above stock tune, and that's 130 foot-pounds above stock. And the torque is pretty high in the L5P. It the, you know, has a VGT stepper motor on it. It has the ability to process airflow pretty rapidly, but the torque curve is much broader. Um, so we start about 17 to 1800 RPM. That's like your towing or loaded zone and it carries it out quite a bit further And you'll see every tune position is very similar um, We call this our heavy tow tune Something you could pull max gross vehicle weight. This truck's rated at 29,587 pounds uh, to, to 2500 um, So you can tow max max weight on this uh, all the back downs will uh, keep the truck safe uh, keep EGTs cool. The max EGTs that we have seen on the dyno, you know, on a two and a half minute run, have approached 1300 degrees. Um, and that would be simulating like worst case scenario. Tune position number two, soft slot position number two, is an average of 489 horsepower and 1,082 foot pounds of torque. That's a gain of plus 80 ish horsepower and 280 foot pounds. So you can see the torque curve quite a bit fatter. We keep uh, the torque somewhat moderate below the 2000 RPM uh, range, and I'll talk about that in a second. This would be your daily driver tune, uh, something that's gonna get pretty good economy. It feels really good to, to, even if you wanted to tow on it, but really good to daily drive, and it's gonna yield pretty good fuel economy. And tune position number three, or that soft position number three, uh, we got an average max power of 515 and uh, 1109 foot-pounds of torque. Um, that's an average gain of 120 horsepower and 300 foot-pounds. Um, this is going to be something, you know, again, you can daily drive, more of like a daily economy sport tune, something that's pretty peppy to drive, feels good. Again, it's super safe. If a guy wanted to tow on this, uh, it would be pretty safe. Um, EGTs still stay in check. And we, we get about 1,350 degrees e max EGTs. That's on uh, holding this dyno at about you know, 2,600 to 2,400 RPM full throttle for two and a half minutes uh, to mark the highest possible uh, EGTs. And then tune position number four. Uh, that's soft position number four. We got an average max power of 552 horsepower and 1,226 foot-pounds of torque. Uh, that's a gain of uh, approximately 150 horsepower and 400 foot-pounds. And this would be like your sport. Wouldn't really recommend towing in this. Um, it's more for like just 
pleasure, have fun. You know, it's pretty aggressive as far as um, how much power and torque you get per unit time. So you step on the gas, you can see that the curve is pretty fat. It's quite a bit higher in the in the ranges of 1700 to 2000 uh, RPM. Um, but it's still pretty fun to drive. EGTs, we have the back down set a little lower than stock at 1400 degrees Fahrenheit. We'll be at about 1380 degrees Fahrenheit uh, under extreme conditions on this tune. And then tune position number five. Uh, this is our max, what we consider safe. We uh, submitted this to CARB as our max um, safe power. This would be like our max registered power. So that's an average horsepower gain of, we're calling it 200 uh, horsepower. In all essence, it's really 195 horsepower. This is the average pickup on this truck. Um, and again, we have the 2020 and 2021. So when we submitted, we got an average pickup of uh, 195 to 200 horsepower. So 200 horsepower and above stock and 1,397 foot-pounds of torque. Uh, that's an average uh, gain of 600 foot-pounds of torque. And the torque curve is quite a bit broader, but if you see here, we keep it pretty low, and there's two reasons on this. Um, the T93, that's the transmission controller in the 2020 and newer trucks. We don't have access to that, like we do the, the T87A that was found in the uh, 2017 and 2019 trucks. In, the, in those trucks, um, we feel a little more comfortable turning the torque up higher in a lower RPM band. And we do that because we have access to the transmission controls. We can elevate line pressure a little bit higher. So this operating window here, where the torque load is a little lower on the 2020, we step up the line pressure slightly here just so we have a little more clutch holding power on not only the torque converter, but the individual clutch packs and the Allison. Um, when we have access to the T93, we will upgrade these torque values. It won't affect emissions output. Um, we'll still be safe, but we'll add another 50 to 80 foot pounds of torque um, across all these tune positions. Um, and as far as the, the power levels goes, the, the max EGTs that we see uh, on the 595 horsepower version uh, is about 1420 degrees Fahrenheit and again that's over two and a half minutes of, of pull uh, averaging that over time. So we do keep the back downs in place so if you're full throttle and there's an issue with the truck or full throttle and we have a uh, you know a runaway EGT condition or the truck's heat soaked it will continue to pull fuel uh, out of the truck. So we feel these are pretty good for the 2017 to 2021. Again, we've tested, we have five L5Ps. We've tested these over 12,000 miles combined amongst all of them. Uh, the two 2020, the 2020 and the 2021, we, uh, we have one for just towing and kind of beating up and the other one is drag race only. And the 2017 to 2019, we put about 6,000 miles on those uh, testing and towing and verifying that the emission system responds properly. So we're ready to go. If you guys uh, have any questions, you can always find us at www.runvsc.com or call our 1-800 number 1-833-789-7700. We keep about 200 ECMs in stock um, and about 150 TCMs in stock uh, for the 17 and 19 trucks. So we have these calibrations and all the parts you would ever need ready to go. That's all I got.